Like a page out of a fairy tale, a vintage steamship with a fascinating history commands Lake Wakatipu, as it has for over a century. Ian and I caught the next departure right after the you gotta have one of these customary photos and boarded this floating time capsule called the TSS Ernst Law to experience the magic of time standing still in a setting too majestic for words. So as we steamed ahead to a famous sheep station, I joined the skipper in the wheelhouse. This boat is 103 years old. In the early days, this was an open bridge. Beautiful weather now, but in the winter it's snowing. So you've got the cushy job because you've got the ceiling. Exactly, well, <laughs> I came along at the right time. And he came to the right location. I'm so glad this didn't end up like the Titanic because so, it's magnificent. So are we, we are very pleased. Even though, of course, we had launched the same year as the Titanic. Did 1912, you? yeah, Ernst Law was built and launched in the same year. And with the same instruments from the same place as the Titanic. Ted Bird's in Liverpool, same manufacturer. Maybe the reason for our spontaneous Titanic moment, and not an iceberg in sight. On the Titanic, you know, you've watched the movie, they yes. do the telegraphs. We still run the ship exactly as it was when it was built. Uh, I have actually no engine control from here. By moving those handles, just send the instruction down to the engine room. And we're lucky we've got young fellas down there who like to shovel coal, keep it going. And they must have a lot of stamina because this ship takes 14 tons of coal. <laughs> And they've got all the bells and whistles. Linda, what do you think of my whistle? <laughs> Impressive. We're just uh, about halfway across the lake now. And, uh, well, how about you take it the other half? Really? Yeah, please. Be, uh, be in there. I promise I won't end yep. up like the Titanic with this. Okay? Yep. Oh, this is, wow. It feels so good. Nice and smooth. Could you just uh, go to port at about five degrees, please? Sure. The, the other port. <laughs> port five degrees, Captain. Thank you. I can get used to this. This is nice, Skipper. It's, it's a pretty nice place. The location, it, the, the mountains, the, the scenery. You better watch out, because I might take your job. <laughs> <laughs> what other job would anybody want but to, to sit up here and st steer the Ernstville around in Queenstown? The TSS Ernst Law is quite the build-up for Walter Peak Station. It's springtime, and the greeting off the boat was warm and fuzzy. Walter Peak Station was once the main supplier of carpet wool to the world. And they're still shearing sheep, who oddly seem pretty relaxed about it. And you can get lost in all this beauty. It seems every flower imaginable and every flowering tree is here at your fingertips. We followed the aroma wafting from the grill and found as many delectable choices as there are flowers on this farm. I even had a chance to think about the people who dare to venture out to discover and land at a magical place like this. And the journey back was equally spectacular. I'm